So uh, some of you may uh, rely on taking your hamsters to the vet to have their nails trimmed, uh, which uh, at the moment obviously is a bit difficult. So I thought I'd do a little video um, since Ginny needs her nails doing um, of uh, how to trim your own hamster's nails, uh, particularly if they aren't particularly a friendly hamster um, and uh, doesn't particularly like having their nails done but for welfare reasons has to have it done um, so this video uh, isn't uh, about a hamster consenting to have their nails done because uh, Ginny is not a particularly friendly little girl um, but I thought maybe some of you might be uh, struggling with this uh, with your own little hammies so um, the kit that you need uh, will be uh, something to trim your hamster's nails with so you can get hamster nail trimmers, you can uh, in a pinch use kind of dog nail trimmers. Um, these actually are cuticle trimmers uh, which are designed for humans. I keep sets specifically for hamsters. Um, I like them because they are slightly spring-loaded. Um, they are also quite small uh, which is really handy um, for little nails um, and I just find that they sit in my hand quite nicely. Um, the dog ones I just find a little bit big when I'm doing the hamsters. Um, but um, you could use uh, baby nail scissors um, so um, you know have a little think um, I prefer not to be too pointy on the end um, particularly if I have a bit of a wriggler um, but you may not you may have something around the house you may not need to sort of have a have a special trip for it um, or, or order it online so um, something to trim with is handy um, I'm a big fan of the rodent transfer device uh, so uh, a little mug this one was from an Easter egg many, many years ago. Um, so I tend to use it particularly for hamsters that aren't um, great on handling or coming out of their cages. Um, it certainly saves your fingers if they tend to be a little bit um, possessive of their space. Um, so you can uh, encourage them in or scoop them up. Um, and my other uh, thing is a bird feeder. And that may sound a little bit odd, um, but uh, a this is, uh, I believe it was a peanut bird feeder, um, and it's never obviously been used for birds. Uh, it's uh, brand, it was brand new and has only ever been used for hamsters. Um, I just worry about the transfer of disease if it was hanging in the garden with wild animals on it, and then I bought it in for mine. Um, but it has a, a nice flip top lid, um, and it means that you can encourage the hamster from the mug into there, then they are safe tucked in there um, and then you can trim their nails through the feeder. Um, it also does work with uh, just mesh, a bit like if you've come to a hamster show you might see the judging grid um, and often I will use a judging grid for nail trimming for um, my hamsters um, where they are a little bit more flighty or um, a little bit more bitey. Um, I often prefer to have them where they can't just um, run off the grid and then splat on the floor. Um, so um, I find this does that does do a job, good job. Um, and this uh, bird feeder has been in use as a nail trimming device uh, for many, many years now. So the other thing you need is a hamster. Come on, Ginny. I know. Look at those nails, madam. There you go. So we will transfer you into the scoop. Scoop you up. There you go, princess. I know. There you go, darling. Good girl. And then into the feeder. Wonderful. There's a princess. So she is now clipped into the feeder and you may be able to see, but as she walks along, her little nails poke through underneath and then you can just nip a little bit off. Yep. Um, so uh, the, my top tips with uh, trimming nails is just to take tiny little bits off the end. So um, the blood supply um, is close to the, the toes and the paw and then um, most hamsters have nice white nails. Um, so often you can see them, but obviously they're so small, it is a little bit tricky. So um, at this point, um, it's better to take, you know, a little bit off um, and do it maybe more regularly than it is to, to try and take big, massive chunks out. Um, if it's sort of curling around, curling over, you could nip that off. 
um, and you may need to do several little sessions so um, you know particularly if your hamster's not used to this or if you think that they're getting a little bit upset or distressed it's better to keep the session short even if you just go in trim one little toenail um, and then pop them back in into their cage or into their carrier with some treats um, and just work up and build up to it rather than uh, trying to put them in push through do all of their paws and then them get distressed and then find it a very um, unpleasant and uncomfortable experience um, you know it's it's better that they they learn to um, you know find it a more pleasant experience um, because you may need to do it more than once um, there we go so I've done a few of her little toenails and I there you go so and there's a little, little toenail there I often find trimming toenails a lot easier with Chinese hamsters because they just sit there and cling on um, whereas uh, a busy little hamster like Ginny is um, a bit more of a challenge so we kind of take our opportunities as we find them um, and uh, I'm not looking for kind of show standard nails here I'm um, working on um, just having sort of you know nails that are good for animal welfare and that aren't going to kind of cause scratches to her and that aren't going to upset how she runs when she runs in her wheel because um, I don't want um, obviously you know long nails to be impacting on, on her joint health or on her comfort in general so yeah so there we go good girl Jenny there we are and so now the bonus of having the little flip top lid is then she can go back in her carrier and then I will go pop her back in her cage and I think she's earned herself a little treat there. 